Hello everyone and welcome back again to ASC Variety Vlogs and today I am inviting you to please come with me as we'll be visiting one of Cebu's best attraction, actually its best destination and this is the Monastery of the Holy Eucharist and it is popularly known as the Simala Shrine or the Simala Church. Yes guys we are going there and please come with me and here we are now we are approaching to this beautiful place and don't worry because when you get there and you feel hungry then nothing to worry in this place because there are a lot of foods a lot of restaurants in here that you can buy for your stomach and even for your souvenirs for your best friends for your family for your loved ones you can buy it from here so nothing to worry when you visit Simala Church and it is really beautiful so I shall be going with me as we will be doing this walking tour so please enjoy the area as ES Variety Blogs will be giving you some artifacts about the place now this beautiful area is located in Marian Hills, Lindungan, Simala, Sibonga, Cebu. It was built guys in 1998 by the Marian monks from Pampanga. It is used to be just an ordinary church until after the incidents of miraculous events. One of which is the shedding of tears of the Mother Mary's image. It paved the way then for the shrine's popularity with devotees constantly flocking to the area. There are various reasons why people come to visit Himala Shrine. For Catholic devotees, the main reason why they visit the place is for them to offer the devotion, prayers, and petitions for the Virgin Mary with a hope that this petition and devotion will be answered. And that's E.S. Variety Vlogs, guys. He is enjoying this area and that includes the surrounding, which is very cool. And another reason is for the people to visit in the, this area is for healing uh, physical and spiritual illness. For some, especially for non-Catholics like AES Variety Blogs, visiting this shrine is for adventure and curiosity purposes only. The amazing structure really and the architecture of this shrine will really leave someone in awe. Look at how perfect is the architecture and as I keep walking during this time there are really a lot of people outside it likes a chaos but when I look at inside this shrine there are really a lot of vacant chairs as most of the people are just outside maybe like me also they are non-catholics and just curious of the area it is all decorated by this Bougainvillea flowers as we call it in the Philippines and that's the view of the shrine away it's really huge and it's really nice to visit and look at the surrounding guys it's very serene it's just very relaxing and that's why when you go there it's like you forget everything all the problem will be gone it's like you are so close to heaven that's why when you go to Cebu, don't forget to visit really this place. At. It's really like heavenly place to every visitor. Is. Look at the structures and from kids to adults, you can see all of them here. And ES Variety Blogs came in here alone. But of course, I was in a group tour, but I chose to walk here alone and I want to have the solo adventure so I can really look at the place in details from left to right, from back to front but I was a bit unlucky because we were not allowed to have the walking tour 100% in the area since the other half of the place was under construction then so we are not allowed to go in there so look at guys the inside of the church the ceiling to the wall, to the front, wherever you have to look at, it's really beautiful outside and inside. So why not go to Simala Church when you go to Cebu? And to tell you guys, Cebu is one of the best destinations in the Philippines. Of course, there are also other areas that offers different 
places for you to visit but Cebu is one of the destinations in the Philippines that you need to consider in the sense that not just Mala Church that you can visit but there are a lot of places so this is now one of the reasons why people are going to Simala Church and that is to light a candle so before buying the candle we passed the way to Mama Mary's statue and of course the museum and this is another area where we can buy the candle of different colors and there is a white which means for purity enlightenment guidance right path and etc and if you buy the yellow it means for peace courage strength and hope and for violet is for achievements plans journey struggle endeavor and voyage if you will buying the red it means of course love unity family friendship engagement for the pink is for thanksgiving happiness joy physical and spiritual and if you can say there guys there is also orange and that is for reconciliation sweetheart for husband for the wife for family and enemy for the gray it is for deliverance for bad ways for the things and spirit and there is also color green for prosperity and success financial business study and of course for exams for the gold color it is for healing good health spiritual recovery family tree also is included in there for the cream is for conversion and faith for household for children and couples and for brown it means for vocation for single life for marriage bond and god's a servant and if you can see the blue that is for perseverance employment career promotions and assignments and finally for the black but only a few is lighting this candle and this is for the souls for pardon and of course for forgiveness now there are days guys when you get in there that is like there are really a lot of people that all areas are being covered with people but this time he has a variety of blogs so I was a bit lucky because in that area wherein you have to light the candle is not that populated and for Catholic devotees, you can also buy different sizes of crucifix in here and any Catholic things. And as I look at the prices, it was not that pricey and it is very affordable. So for Catholics, really, this is a perfect destination in Cebu and even for non-Catholics. Mind you, our dear viewers, that even ESC Variety Blogs is not Catholic. I lighted a candle in there and I would like you to guess what color because I did not uh, show it in the video. So the thing is, what color of a candle that ESC Variety Blogs lighted as he visited the beautiful Simala Church in Cebu City. And I lighted really that candle because of its wonderful meaning which is applicable to myself and the only thing that you have to find out is what color would that be and i hope you would comment it down below and ESC Bright Vlogs is a really have fun during this visit here in this look at guys this structure this is taken from inside of like inside of the church already and this was the area where we got in this is now the new entrance of the Simala Church because in the past there is another entrance wherein now it is already close to the public since they built already that new one and that's why when you get there you cannot access anymore to that pond to that small lake down because it is close to the public already unlike in the past that before getting into the church they can experience walking down the area and they can roam around that small pond in there this place is what i'm telling you it's close to the public already unlike before that anyone can walk around there before going up but the stairs that was used before is not open to the public nowadays so that one that you are looking now in front that was the old stairs going up and they can experience this um, mini lake in here so anyway that's for the safety of everybody because that might be old already and not that safety so thank you very much for being with ESV Variety Vlogs in this journey to Simala Church